Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects video. In this video, I thought I'll make a review of this amazing update that Nitrosum have made to the video library that is video library version 4 where they have added an amazing complete transition pack which consists of really amazing high quality transition and I thought it was a very good update to review and to make you guys aware of it. So yeah, it's gonna be fun and before we begin with this video let me give you guys a quick preview of it new transition pack includes five main categories and 30 subcategories reworked in handy preview mode you can always find what you need within a few seconds So as you saw it looks pretty damn interesting and just for the record I have already created reviews on montage library, the premiere library, action library and video library older versions as well so I'll mention the link down in the description I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out cause it is pretty damn amazing. So with that said let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright so here we are in After Effects and I have already launched the animation studio now if you don't know how to launch it you can go into windows extension and there you will find it. So here I have a pretty simple composition which consists of two videos just to demonstrate the transition. So all I need to do is when you update your video library you can just scroll down a bit and there you'll find the transitions category. So all you need to do is just hover over a particular transition and you can preview it right over here as you can see now to use it it is very simple you just need to drag the time indicator at the place where you want the transition to start from so i want to i want the transition to appear right over here so what i can do is i can just select it and hit apply and bam there we go there we have the transition applied now if you want to change the settings of this transition i can do that as well i can just select the layer and then click on this icon and there you'll find all the settings. So now to see what settings we change, you can just lock this panel and then go into the main comp, go right over here. And then I can change the background color if I want to. So let's say I'll go with something like a nice yellow color. And there we have the color that we want. So you can play around with different settings like the border glow level. If you want to keep it very minimal, you can keep that as well. So I'm gonna set this to, you know, like zero or something. And you can also play around with the shadow mask level if you want to. So that is a pretty good thing that you have a complete control over the transition. And as you saw, it's pretty easy to use. So let's go back into the animation studios. Let's delete this for now. And let's check out some other transitions. So there are different categories. Like right now we are into the TR glass category and which consists of five different categories or subcategories. So we have the glass hit. Then we have the glass head skew, which looks pretty cool as you can see. Then we have one of my favorite that is the glitch boop transition. So I can just go right here and then just select it and hit apply. So here we have the glitch transition as you can see. Now let's go back into the settings of this transition so we can customize it according to our requirements. I'm going to lock the screen and then I can just go back into the main comp and then I can change it according to my requirements. So again, we have the different settings for the tint level. You can change the tint color according to your project requirements. So I can keep it red, which looks pretty intense. You can just play around with the BG color levels. So I can keep it something like that and maybe change the color to white or something. Then let's go into the BG color actually and let's set this to white. And we can also play around with the motion blur if that works. As you can see, so we have this really nice motion blur. We have the background levels. And there we have this really nice transition as you can see. And it is pretty time saving now. It's going to take a lot of time if you try to create it yourself. So I think this pack has some very nice transitions that you can use in your projects. Let's go down. Then we have the glitch boop wave, which is very interesting transition as you can see right here. Then we have the glitch central. 
very nice and snappy glitch now this is one of my favorite we ha this has this nice Q effect at the beginning so it looks pretty good let's try it out i'm going to delete this and let's go right here select the transition and hit apply so let's preview this as you can see it looks very nice snappy and looks very professional loving this transition then let's check out some more glitches then we have the glitch hit very nice then we have the glitch hit skew which has a skew with the hit included then we have the glitch roll which is again one of my favorite that it has this really nice roll that we saw in the handy seamless transition but with a glitch effect included in that and again you have the complete control over every transition so you can change them according to your requirements according to your project that you are working on all right so the next we have the grunge category which consists of the grunge boop and let's check that out so i'm going to delete this and just select this one maybe and let's hit apply so there we have this really nice grunge glitch kind of a look this looks more of a glitch effect than the grunge effect i think but it's pretty cool then we have some slight transition in that then we have the grunge boop wave which looks pretty interesting so you can use it in your vlogs maybe your short films or something like that it's gonna look very nice then we have the grunge central now this is very nice so let's check that out and just put it right here and hit apply and as you can see this is a very cool effect i'm loving this theme that it has i'm definitely going to use this in some of my videos because i really like this it has so much of detail into it let's check out some other effects as well then we have the grunge hit which is again a very nice effect as you can see then we have the grunge hit skew which has a skew included with the hit so it's a pretty cool combination i think and it looks very nice then we have the grunge roll again this is looking pretty damn cool as you can see very nice and again just to remind you guys that you have the complete control over the settings so i can go into the settings again you know lock this up go back into the main comp and change the theme or the design according to my requirements i can play around with the texture level if i don't want any texture i can set this to zero i can change the frame color to a different color that i want to go with i can play around with the motion blur as well and everything is going to get updated instantly so it gives a pretty good control over every you know every property of the transition now let's check out some modern transition that it has so i'm going to delete this let's go into the modern boop and there, there you can see it has this really nice colorful transition which looks very nice you can use it in your fashion promos or stuff like that and we have the modern central very nice and colorful looks pretty flashy so perfect for creating some upbeat promos and stuff like that and i think it would look good with this skateboard video that we have so let's check that out so i'm going to select this one and hit apply and there we go as you can see it is a pretty complex transition so it's a bit heavy on after effects but it looks pretty damn cool so let's pretty quickly preview this so here we have this really nice effect as you can see looks pretty awesome with this video perfect now this is one of my favorite the modern hit nice colorful effect as you can see then we have the modern hit skew which includes the hit and the skew and the modern roll then we have the smudge transition which are pretty cool for creating some really nice title sequence for your short films or music videos so let's check them out i'm going to delete this let's go and let's actually use this one so I'm gonna hit apply to use this so as you can see it looks very nice perfect for creating some really nice upbeat videos let's check out some more then we have the smudge boop wave pretty cool then we have the smudge central which is again very intense and looks pretty nice and snappy so let's check that out let's hit apply as you can see looks very interesting 
and again you can go into settings and change the colors of this effect so i can go into my main comp again and then change it to a different color that i want to go with as you can see we have a complete different look there you go so you can use the colors according to your projects then again we have the smudge hit and the smudge hit and skew which includes the combination of that and finally we have the smudge roll so i think the complete package comes with some amazing transition and very professional so you can use it in your videos for your commercial videos as well and all in all that is a wrap for today guys i hope this video was helpful and i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check out the transition the check out the video library the link will be down in the description and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative